hello, salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This class eight note, uh, I want to explain uh, Quran classics, and I say that Quran classics consist of Surah Al Zilzala and Surah Al Bayna. Uh, well, what you can see is now Surah Al Zilzala and Surah Al Bayna. I want to give you some little bit explanation about these two surahs. And uh, initially, you remember we did Quran class one, Quran class two. Quran class 3, Quran class 4, and Quran class 5, and today it is Quran class 6. Uh, surah Al Zilzala, uh, as we know, it's among the surah uh, which was revealed in Medina, it's among the Medina surah. Uh, the surah has almost 8 verses uh, or ayah, so everybody can understand. Uh, it is the 99th, it is the 99th surah of the Holy Quran. Of the Holy Quran. Uh, in this surah, we are told about the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually explained to us that the coming of the day of judgment and everybody will be going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, widely explained about uh, the day of judgment. This surah now the earth, this surah also told us that the earth will reveal, the earth will reveal actually what you are doing inside of it uh, as a witness. Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be judging us to what we have been doing on this earth, whether good or bad. People now, uh, this will also actually tell us that people will be divided into two groups. Uh, group number one are the people who will go to the paradise, and group number two are the people who will go to the to the hellfire, paradise and hellfire. Offering of Jannati and Offering of uh, This will also tell us that we should strive, we should work hard to do good, however small it is. Whether big, whether big good or a small good, we should be able to do it, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will be rewarding us on, on, on that uh, on that good. This will also tell us that we should avoid. Let us now abstain and avoid and keep off all the evil acts. Uh, finally, Surah Al Zilzala. The meaning of Surah Al Zilzala is, is what earthquake. That's the meaning of Surah Al, Al Zilzala, uh, and it is earthquake. Zilzala means earthquake. Uh, on the other side, you can see we have uh, Surah Al Bayna. Uh, Surah Al Bayna. Al Bayna means what? Surah Al Bayna. Uh, Al Bayna means uh, this is now clear evidence. The clear evidence, uh, how Allah Subhanahu wa Taala explained to us the whole Quran is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the coming of the Prophet. Uh, the Surah was revealed in Medina and it's among the Madani Surah. Uh, the Surah has almost eight verses. Uh, the Surah has almost eight verses. Now that this surah talks about, talks about the Ahlul Kitab, talks about the Ahlul Kitab, the Ahlul Kitab are now uh, people who the early books now, the early scriptures were revealed to. Uh, and these were Yehud and Nasar, and these are the Jewish and the Christians. The early scriptures uh, now uh, and their prophets is as follows. Prophet Musa alayhi salam was revealed to Torah. Prophet Musa, uh, Prophet Isa alayhi salam, I mean Prophet Musa was revealed to Torah, Prophet Isa was revealed to Injil, and Prophet Dawood was revealed to Zabur. Now, this uh, scripture that was revealed upon these prophets, they were actually emphasizing and talking and preparing yeah. and predicting the coming of Prophet Hassan alayhi salam. The teaching of now Torah, Zabur, and Injil were to prepare these books now, they are teaching whatsoever they're explaining is to prepare the followers for the coming of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, as a clear evidence, as a clear evidence, uh, as a clear evidence, that's the whole Quran we're told that in Surah Al-Bayyina, Suhuf Al-Mudahara, Suhuf Al-Mudahara uh, is the purified pages, these are the purified, purified pages, the clear evidence. Alright, now the Jewish and the Christians, they refuse to accept the truth and witness and wanted to follow their own way of life they wanted to do uh, whatsoever they, they, they just think about their mind they just wanted to do from their mind okay the truth now was to worship only one god uh to perform salah and to give out zakah that was not now the truth but they refused allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remind us in surah al-bayna uh, uh, 
uh, that was quite a brief explanation of uh, about that. The, uh, those who now refuse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again promised, those who refuse to do the following things, the following principles, will be thrown into the hellfire. That now was command and promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Surah al baqarah now talks about three principles. These three principles are, uh, one is to uh, establish a regular prayer. Number two is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and none other than him. And number three was to give out the cat. Uh, and that's very max. In case you have any question to ask, feel free and ask wherever it's necessary. And that's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you very much. And let's meet next time, inshallah.